Parade Marshal Kathy McDonald brings the horses to the post for tonight's first race. Stallions and Geldings maiden claiming in a full field of 10-1 cool spot. Owned by Terry Burson, driven by David Miller. Two Let's Go Dustin, owned by Marlon Smith with Randy Tharps. Three Kelly Tuck Chance, owned by Tom Osborne, Rainsman Mark Winters. Number four is Diamond Crest, owned by Crest Farms. Brad Hanners will be aboard. Number five is Nuclear Field, owned by Larry Roberts. Darren Mauser will be on the bike. Here's six, The Gray, a login owned by driver Dean Collins, Kevin and Jeff Reed. Number seven, Gray Poupon, owned by Robert Streck. Ron Streck drives. Eight is Crown Time Tucker, owned by Esther Crownover, driven by Dan Ader. Nine, It's All Good, owned by Mary Kearns and John Wiley with Ryan Holton. And number 10, Manart's Lag, owned by Gary Babo, Star Country Stable, Art Jones will be in the sulky. That's the field for tonight's first race. Exact the trifecta wagering first half of the Daily Double, and there's eight minutes until post time. Horses and drivers are now in the hands of the starter, John Betts. It's post time. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Let's go. Dustin between horses takes the lead. Kelly Tuck chance alongside. Cool spot is up on the outside. On the far outside, Crown Time Tucker on the move to fourth. From out of the second tier, Matt Tart's lag is fifth. Followed by the favorite, Diamond Crest in sixth. Nuclear Field is seventh. Login is eighth. Trailers to the turn are Grand Poupon, and it's all good. And they roll to the quarter mile pole. Here's Kelly Tuck chance in a vicious first quarter. Parked out there, 28 seconds flat. Two deep past the stands, moving to the half mile pole. Kelly Tuck chance clears for Mark Winters, leads away by a length and a half. Followed by Cool Spot in second, past the stands, let's go Dustin third. Next in line comes Crown Time Tucker fourth. Matt Tarts lag is next, moving up on the outside. Diamond Crest, he's underway. Nuclear Field is tipped and rolled. The gray is logging, and that's absolutely what he's doing. He's logging an eighth as they hit the half mile pole. Trailers remain Grand Poupon, who can't cut the mustard from here. And up on the outside, it's all good. They're hub to hub, and they're at the half in a minute and two fifths. They're side by side and stride for stride as they move down the backstretch. Cool spot on the outside now sticks his nose, his head, his neck in front. That's cool spot now drawing clear three parts of a length. Kelly Tuck chances second. Moving up on the outside from third, second bid for crown time, Tucker. The favorite's got the no excuse journey from fourth, Diamond Crest. Racing by three quarters in 129 and three. Moving around the far turn. Cool spot, three parts of a length. In between horses, crown time, Tucker second. Winding up on the far outside, Diamond Crest third. Middle of the racetrack, let's go Dustin fourth. Driving wide and hard to the front on the far outside. Diamond Crest now gets the lead and bids this field an early good night. It's going to be Diamond Crest, Crown Time, Tucker, and the battles for third as they hit the wire. Here's the unofficial winner of tonight's first race. Number four, Diamond Crest, three-year-old brown coat by Noble Land Salmon of Tender Caress. Owned in Miamisburg, Ohio by Crest Farm. Trained by Virgil Morgan. Driven tonight by Brad Hanners. Winner at first asking, covering the mile here in 158 and four. Number four, Diamond Crest, the winner of tonight's first race. Windows are now up and on tonight's second race. Second half of the Daily Double, exact and trifecta. Wagering number five, Charlie R. will not race on Lasix. Five, Charlie R. not racing on Lasix. And we'll set a post time here in just a second. Exact the return, $14 even. Trifecta, $64.80, 6480 Next post in 13 minutes at 749. 